Bungie's live stream last Thursday was full of amazing revelations about the future of Destiny 2. From cross-save to new light, Bungie really seems to be stepping up their game, expanding its capabilities and potential. While I'm incredibly excited about all that was discussed and announced, I noticed a few things missing from the stream. Things which often seem missing from Destiny, which I believe should take on greater importance going forward. I have a few ideas for a few videos, but today we're going to look at just one idea, the Destiny Story Codex. Welcome everyone to another Embrace Destiny video, thanks for stopping by, KazPhD here. Before we go further, I want to make three things very clear. First, I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing out something which I believe could be better and may need to be better with new light. Second, I know that the developers are working on this, and probably far ahead of me, but I believe in encouraging the conversation in case we as a community are able to shed light on problem areas. Third, some of my ideas at first may seem like I'm trying to pull away from the action and core gun gameplay of Destiny. Sometimes on stream when I mention these ideas, people think I'm trying to turn Destiny into a point-and-click adventure game. That is not the case. I just believe we can expand around the core gun gameplay we all love. So, my first issue to discuss is the lack of direction we have always had when it comes to the narrative of Destiny. In this franchise, it can be easy to get lost, not sure what to do next. Rumor has it this was actually built into Destiny 1 to add mystery to the Destiny universe, to encourage us to explore and connect the dots. Trouble was, it was so unclear that people often found themselves confused with what mission came next, what there was to do, and when they could do it. People took to Google and YouTube, and while this is great for us content creators, maybe not so great for the in-game experience. This has gotten somewhat better in Destiny 2 with the Director Milestones tab and Pursuits helping you from point to point, but still not perfect, I think. If you bought the game today, everything up to and including Forsaken, you just couldn't wait till September, you would have three indications of where to go and what to do. You would have Pursuits, the Milestone Directors tab, and the destinations themselves to go check out. The pursuits and milestones would not give you a sense of order, saying go do the Red War and go see what's happening on Mercury with the same weight. Only the recommended power level on the destinations would indicate a general sense of order. Now, I know that New Light is aiming to get rid of that order, and that's great. If you want to jump right into the action, you probably don't want to have to slog it out with Panoptes or Zol first. I'm really excited about players being able to jump in, a la carte, into the content that they love, and I'm also aware that after you get to the tower, not all destinations will be immediately open. The developers mentioned that they are working on some kind of quick but understandable way of unlocking the destinations over a short period of time. However, if you think the average player is lost currently regarding what there is to do and what the narrative of the game is now, how will it look when they've unlocked all destinations and are at a high enough level, power level, that they can do anything in any order? Think about this. New Guardian finishes the first level in the Cosmodrome, flies to the tower. Which tower? D1 or D2? Probably D2. Okay, then how do you explain the Homecoming mission? If you start with Forsaken, then do Warmind, does it seem weird when Cade sometimes is and isn't around? My suggestion would be to have a Destiny timeline or codex built into the character menu screen. Here the major narrative steps, i.e. expansions, could be spelled out in order, perhaps with additional re information related to key characters. Not all details would be present, maybe even just the flavor text that Bungie uses to get you excited about an expansion in the first place. When you first open this codex, the narrative steps would be grayed out, but visible. The details would be brief and incomplete, so as to both avoid spoilers and also encourage the player to learn more. These would be like triumphs, which players could unlock by completing those campaigns or those seasons. Now, assuming we only start with the narrative of Destiny 2, an example could be Red War. A militarized race known as the Cabal have attacked the tower, threatening to take the light and destroy the last city. Curse of Osiris. An old mentor of Ikora Ray has warned of a coming threat from Mercury, and so on and so on. When you complete them, when you complete those campaigns, and you unlock that triumph, the text expands as follows. Red War. A militarized race known as the Cabal attacked the tower, threatened to take the light and destroy the last city, but you rekindled the light, united the vanguard, took out Gaul, woke up the Traveler, and now half of what I hear in the streets is how much you and your clan are making a difference. <laughs> but actually, rekindled the light, united the vanguard, defeated Gaul, and awoke the Traveler. Besides the text, and an indication that you've completed it, I think key cinematics should be included. 
You can inspect each narrative step, look at a list of cinematics, and or maybe watch them all the way through. The main cinematics should be somewhat easy to implement, just playing as they originally were or maybe modified depending on the gear you're wearing now. Ideally, this would also include little vignettes like the Queen's Court and Invitations of the Nine, but I understand that they would be more difficult to add considering the lack of rigidity these have in the game. Your ability to move around these scenes may make it difficult for Bungie to have a standard version of them that would be included in your collection, in your codex. I believe that these would do a lot of good for both the players and for Bungie. People love to complete things, seeing, and seeing an incomplete list may encourage them to check it out, consider purchasing. For the player, it would help put things in the right order and make sense of it all, and allow us to look back over our accomplishments and watch the cutscenes and vignettes that we earned and experienced. I understand that Bungie has big plans and a busy staff. I get that my ideas would take a lot of time and effort, which could be spent elsewhere. I also know that Google exists and that people can find all the information and cinematics there. However, I truly believe that changes like these would improve the feel of the game, the player experience, immersion, and encourage us all to dive deep into exploring this universe together. I would argue that Destiny would greatly benefit from this edition now, but will almost need it in September with new light. With so many players expected to come into the franchise, a story codex could really help bring everything together and guide everyone toward the content they're more interested in. So what do you think? Any merit to my idea? Do you have suggestions on what can be improved or ideas of your own? Let's fill up that comment section. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And if you did enjoy, please feel free to share this as I'm trying to get bring this to Bungie's attention. Any effort you make by liking, subbing to the channel, sharing on Reddit and Destiny forums would really help. Thank you all very much for watching. I'm going to keep working on some other ideas and suggestions which you'll likely see in later videos. Feel free to catch me live on Twitch, link down below. And I'll see you all next time. Bye now.